You're listening to the Send It Podcast with Andrew Rawls on World Talk Radio. Roman, 7 Juniper Bravo, Dean Ground, uh, turn right on Bravo, runway uh, 1 AF, Bravo, and um, it will merge with Alpha to Alpha 3. count on one hand the number of films I screen per year, a far cry from where I was a half a decade ago when I would take in over a dozen full-length features per week. Interests change in sites like YouTube and more personal content take up most of my time these days. But even before COVID, when theaters were booming, it seemed as though all the major studios were interested in was budgeting big major blockbuster cgi lay superhero action movies, of which from the very beginning I've had little to no interest. In. While I've always preferred practical effects over CGI, think Jaws, Blade Runner, E.T., the latter can help curtail quite dramatically motion pictures that would normally extend well beyond their budgeted production schedule, and if used effectively, can make a film look quite nice, such as the case with the 2021 action drama Those Who Wish Me Dead, a picture I had zero expectations or knowledge of before Discovery on HBO Max. Those Who Wish Me Dead was released simultaneously on HBO Max, Warner Brothers' subsidiary streaming platform, and in theaters. It follows a young boy who's deserted in the Montana wilderness after his father, a forensic accountant, is killed by a group of hired assassins after their client learns the accountant has damning evidence that could lead them all to jail. The young boy is discovered in the wilderness by a traumatized smoke jumper, played by Angelina Jolie, who is battling her own inner demons, but must shake them off to save both of their lives from the assassins who want the young boy dead. This picture will be of interest to listeners as it features a couple of killer skydiving scenes into wildfires, which is credited to Mike Swanson and John DeVore's work from the Red Bull skydiving team. Smoke jumping dates to the early 1930s, and there are currently nine crews here in the United States comprised of over 400 members. Smoke jumpers operate seasonally, and the movie highlights the physical fitness requirements for one's ability to survive in fires in the wilderness for over 48 hours, using only the supplies and tools they are static lined in with at the time of the jump. With a runtime of 100 minutes, this film moves quickly and it's refreshing to see that once in a while, studios like Warner Brothers are still able to offer audiences something truly unique and original. You've just listened to Send It, a skydiving podcast hosted by Andrew Rawls on World Talk Radio. Send It is the number one skydiving podcast on the planet, bringing listeners up-to-date information on all things sky sports. Be sure to visit senditradio.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our amazing bonus content and articles. If you enjoyed this episode, we'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review. Until next time, three, two, one. See ya.